Prove to your customers that your product is better with this sleek comparison chart that I will show you how to add to your store in just a couple moments. A lot of e-com stores and software companies use these to showcase their superior product or pricing. All you need to do is copy and paste this code into your theme and you are all set. It's fully customizable so you can make it perfect for your store. My name is Nick and I make videos like this every week, so make sure to subscribe so you don't miss a thing. Let's get started. Now the first thing we want to do is make sure we make a copy of our production theme. I don't ever recommend making changes within the production theme because things break and you don't want that to happen publicly. So what we can do is come into this three dot menu and we're going to click edit code. Once our code editor spins up, we can come into this directory over here and we're going to click into sections and I'm going to right click and add a new file and I will call this comparison chart dot liquid. And now our file is ready for our code. So I would recommend clicking the link in the description, going to my GitHub and copying this entire file and pasting it in here. I'm gonna paste it in one piece at a time just so we can talk about it just a little bit. Now our code is in here and you can see that we have a bunch of styles going on. I'm not gonna talk about it too much other than to point out that we do have some mobile styles here so that we can make sure this looks good mobile responsive. Essentially it just turns into a scrolling table, which these kind of things are tricky on mobile. It's very hard to get them to look you know, perfect. So this is a good way to handle that. And now below our styles, we can go ahead and put in our custom liquid in HTML. So right below our styles, I'm gonna go ahead and paste that. And uh, we'll talk about this just briefly. So at the beginning, we have kind of our container um, that we set up so that we can have this styled the way that we would like to. And then within our table, we have a few different sections. So here is the table header. This is gonna be the topmost. Uh, row, which is going to show kind of a more of a header with an image so that we can see uh, which product we're comparing. And then below that starts our different rows of features. So we have up to nine, I believe. So each one, this is for all of the blocks, the first feature row, and so on and so forth. And the cool thing you'll notice about them is that if we leave them blank in the section schema, what they're gonna do is actually just omit this row completely. So it's not like you have to go in and remove code if you don't have nine different rows that you wanna showcase. So this is pretty cool, I have to admit. And if we come right below that, now we can add our section schema. I'm gonna go ahead and paste that. And you can see that we start out with some presets. So I have this by default giving us all nine different rows and several different blocks. Okay, this will make more sense in a second when we look at it in the theme editor, but you'll see that we have these blocks and the different settings there. This is incredibly important. And then we have the settings as well. Okay, so these are all the customizable options that we're gonna see in the theme editor. So we can save this file and then just take note of the presets name, product comparison chart. That is what it's gonna look like in the editor. So now if I come here, I can customize theme. Now I'm gonna go to a product page because that's probably where you're gonna wanna put this. And I would imagine right between these, sure, at the bottom here, we'll scroll down and put in this product comparison chart. And you can see that it looks pretty good off the bat. And obviously this is all just fake dummy data, um, but you can change this as much as you want. So if we click into the settings, this is the entire section settings, not block settings, just to be clear. We can change these to whatever we want. It doesn't have to be motor battery. Obviously we wanna be able to name this whatever we would like to. And then the cool thing is, is if we were to remove these, it may not show it in the preview, but what will actually happen is this entire row will just not show up, okay? So I'll try to prove that if I save this. And now if I preview, you'll see that that bottom row is omitted completely, okay? You also notice that we have a selected column, which is awesome. And I will show you how to do that in just a moment. So I'll put that back and you'll see if I click into these different blocks and you can add or remove as many as you want, um, up to nine. But if we click into one of these blocks, we have the product name and then we have the product image, which is pretty cool. So we can add, you know, whatever product image we want and it makes that row look a little bit better in my opinion. And then we also have this option to highlight the columns, right? I would imagine that when you're comparing this product versus others, you're gonna wanna highlight your product and that is simply what this does. And then of course, the different features and the values therein. So let's go ahead and I'm just gonna add uh, some product images to all of these real quick. Okay, cool. So this looks pretty darn good. I'm just gonna leave this middle one selected. I've added the little images of the product. So this gives like a really good snapshot of what this product is and how it compares against the others. So let's go back to our preview here. I'm gonna refresh just to make sure it's updated. This looks really good on desktop, but let's check it out on mobile. So here on mobile, you'll see as I scroll down, I have this 
And um, there's really no perfect way to do this because if you shrink the chart down, it's very hard to read. So I wouldn't do that. But instead we just add this really nice little scroll uh, horizontal so you can see everything very easily. So this is one of my favorite sections I've done recently. I hope that you find it helpful. If you have, make sure to like this video and drop a comment of what you'd like to see next. I really appreciate you guys watching and I'll see you next time.